It's grand final time here. We've come all the way through our long bracket, but we have two teams remaining and only one of them can be our champion of the Method Mayhem this week. I'm Healing Sad. I'm your host. We've got Venruki Super Teams casting all the action for us and we've got two great teams to cast over. The boys will be playing against Cloud9, a rematch of a series that went 3-2 to two last time these teams met earlier in the day. It was super close. The Rogue Mage Druid versus the Warlock Windwalker Mistweaver uh, and great players on both sides it's going to be a great series to finish off the day i mean this has just been the two most dominant teams in north america to be completely frank um cloud nine and the boys has been the grand finals of our north american tournaments consistently over and over and over i'd say 90 percent of the time it's these two teams always meeting in the final so we'll see the boys they've been looking absolutely unstoppable they've already beaten cloud nine but the only team to really Make them afraid, I think, has been Cloud9 so far. So if there's any team that has a chance, it is going to be Cloud9. And they seemed like they were getting actually better. Like I would say it was looking more and more favorable for them the more games that they had played. So I could easily see them winning this series. All right. Well, I want to know what you guys think in the chat. We don't have any fancy polls, but we are just going to ask straight up, do you think C9 or... Uh, C9, all the boys are going to be the team to win this one. Gurecki, Chun Li, Thugonomics on one side, Cubsy Snuts, and Wealthy Man on the other. I think this is going to be a great series. I'm cheering for seven games. It's a best of seven to finish this one off. Let's see who is the best team in North America. Yeah, the boys looking unstoppable, but Cloud9 were getting better and better. I do hope they're running the Maledict and not the Spite Trinket. If I see some corruption grenades flying through the sky, I'm going to be really sad especially because they were getting so close to victory with that Maledict swap over. And now how is Dunkinomics going to deal with that strategy if it's thrown at him? Really nothing being able to beat the boys but themselves when they decide to meme. Dunkinomics mounted up on that demonic gateway. He's ready for the spites. He's going to click that gateway as soon as he can if they are running it. Gorecki is sapped. They start the engagement. Dunkinomics immediately gates to center field. Roots snuts up. Chun gets cloned. He can't really capitalize on too much here off the start thanks to that Cyclone. Economics being disrupted and annoyed by Snuts, looking for some more interrupts with that Chaos Bolt. Pre-Vitality Conduit, as soon as Kidney Shot is used, Gorecki anticipating crowd control along with that stun, but no crowd control was committed, so Vitality Conduit effectively not doing too much. Wealthy Man getting blasted by a Chaos Bolt. Temporal is absorbing all that damage, feeling him back to full. Iron Park going to trade for the Storm, Earth, and Fire. I got it right that time, right, Vinruki? You did, yes. Okay, okay, just wanted to make sure. I gotta just remember the Thrall quote, quote Storm, Earth, Earth, and Fire, heed my call. And not Boogie Wonderland, all right? Yeah, That's I have difference. Boogie Wonderland <laughs> stuck in my head, is the problem. All right, Triple Infernals comes in. Thugonom is looking to get crazy here on this map. Wealthy Man forced into the ice block. He is so afraid of Chun Li, you really can't blame him. Chun Li has put the fear of God in these <laughs> mages' eyes with this Drusta Gath, so definitely really, really uh, scary. Wealthy Man, first ice block's gonna be forced out. Cubsy actually falling quite far behind. Infernal's in the Dark Soul, it's big! Uh. Wealthy Man getting low. Blinks in the center field, Thugonomics looking for one Chaos Bolt. Manages to find it, gets two. Wealthy Man running as far away as possible, as fast as he can, and manages to get out of that one alive. It's like that meme where you, you feel like you're playing God for that one split second. I feel like Chun-Li has that basically whenever he plays against a mage right now. As soon as he sees his touch of death or his drastic app off cooldown, he's like, I decide if you live or die. And Wealthy Man definitely respecting that right now. Ice block down, second ice block may well be soon to follow. Honestly though, this game has been pretty even between the two sides. Wealthy Man's the only person I'm scared of dying early on, but if he can stay alive, we are going to see that deep dampening that we've seen from Cloud9, and it definitely isn't a sure thing that they would lose that. Mm, so Snuts baited a, a life cocoon. He ran over at Gorecki as if he was going to blind, and then Gorecki used life cocoon expecting it, and Snuts held on to blind. So now there won't be a life cocoon. Snuts is moving his way over a slightly closer to Gorecki. Slightly closer. Shadow Step blind immediately. Comes and moves in and cap form. But Gorecki trinkets Vitality Conduit. Thugonomics not going to take any damage as a result. Grapple Weapon totally removes Snuts away from that push. Now Cubsy is crowd controlled. He could get swapped too. Doesn't look like it. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Dressed to Big hit through that bark skin. Cubsy trying to recover. Jumping to Wealthy Man. Chun in, in pursuit. Switching to Wealthy Man. Two Chaos Bolts. Big heal. 
Helps you with a gigantic heal. That Spirit of Preservation Essence is so powerful in Druids and Paladins. As it stacks up over time, your next quick heal, so Regrowth and Holy Light in, that, in these cases, will be amplified. Then you have Divine Favor and Soul of the Forest, which just increases that healing even more. You just have a fast-casted Lay on Hands with Druid and Paladin when that's all matched up. Right now, mana not looking too good. Cooldown's not the greatest either for Cloud9. I feel like if I was the boys, I, I'd be pretty comfortable in this position. However, Wealthy Man finds a counterspell, but he pre-Vitality conduited before getting counterspelled, soaks the kick while Thugonomics basically can't die, then pre-cocoons the bash from Cubsy. Wealthy Man's on the back foot. Greki's playing insane right now. That really good positioning coming in from Greki. Cubsy forced to use his Iron Bark onto Wealthy Man. Wealthy Man in midfield is being abused by the Ring of Peace this game. That's actually a touch of death as well. There's no Iron Bark. I have the hiccups. It's hard to be intense with the hiccups right now. <laughs> Adrian, you gotta do it. Yeah, I'll, I'll take over the hiccups. Uh, 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 crowd controlling our casters, I suppose. Chun Li, uh, though not in any crowd control, he's able to reconnect. Now, Kidney, Smoke Bomb. This is a big play, potentially. Big play coming in from Snuts, but immediately peeled. Thugonomics, he may be Cyclone, but his Infernals were midair and they come crashing down, denying Cloud9 on their Smoke Bomb push mana. Still looking good for both sides, but Snuts definitely a bit scared for him right now. Quick Shadows is available, Safeguard Prox. He's still using double tank trinket. He's still got that eggshell trinket. You see the purple animation around him. Seems like Resto Druids, you know, we talked about it yesterday that they might not be in the strongest state. In the right conditions, they still look pretty good. You know, tanky classes, slow paced. We're running the tank trinkets as well to help out with that healing because consistently they're still very powerful. All right, let's see if they can get anything going here. Cold Snap still on cooldown. Chun gets kidney shot, but Wealthy Man's not in line of sight. He drops Frozen Orb anyway. Trying to go for the burst. Chun, what's he going to trade? Gorecki's Vitality Conduit going to be more than enough. Gorecki now polymorphed. Looks like they want to switch to Thugonomics. Thugonomics creating some distance, rooting up Snuts for a moment. Cubsy gets a clone onto Chun. Gorecki's still in a poly. Cubsy jumps over to switch the clone. They switch to poly. No, they can't. Chun disrupts it, but Thug is in trouble. Snuts is tearing him apart. Ray of Frost likely to be channeled here. Thugonomics trinkets out. Greki gets time to life cocoon. Now Cubsy is done. Wealthy Man as well. They switch over to Cubsy once again, trying to delete him from midfield. He jumps back out of line of sight. He used Barkskin and Iron Bark, so Iron Bark won't be available for his mage, Wealthy Man. Thugonomics sitting through Polymorph. Unfortunately, no dispel, it looks like. Chun stunned up, but all that extra versatility. Chun is basically looking like he's immortal. Big Drestigath swap onto Snuts. He's, Snuts is actually still running that tank trinket, so Snuts is the only player running that. The, tra the, the tank trinket from Nihilotha, where you get an 80% damage reduction and absorb some damage. Very interesting still that he's the only one choosing to do that. It's very powerful against the Chaos Bolt damage of the Destruction Warlock, soaking one of those Chaos Bolts for free. Shadow steps behind Stugonomics right as his Chaos Bolt was about to go off and stopped it from going off. Snuts is really trying to get something going for his team here. Put a point on the board. Ooh, Chun Li getting a little bit low, but Gorecki moves forward, gets the life cocoon. Wealthy Man almost has a second ice block back available. Cold Snap is almost rotated back up. Six minutes have just gone by like that in this matchup. Cubsy's mana around 50%. Actually, Gorecki relatively even. Cubsy trying to sneak away. I think he really wants to try to reset his mana. Wealthy Man is going to be playing his best his defense that he possibly can, but Chun Li gets there. He's going for the all in on Cubsy. He goes for the touch of death. Does he have the damage? They just need to stop Wealthy Man. He just 100 O's him. Oh, Unbelievable. Oh. There was no trinket, and Thugonomics was there to deny the polymorphs, but Chun Li, man, just getting the burst. Absolutely one shot. Crazy, crazy stuff. Yeah, that, that was that was a really, really nice kill. It, all three members have contributed to that as well. They forced the trinket earlier on. You see the Infernal deny the Polymorphs. Gorecki's there with the DR leg sweep. Leg sweep into leg sweep. Those legs were gonzo for about seven or eight seconds there. And Cubsy followed suit dead in the stun lock. Very nicely set up by the boys. And it took them seven minutes. So honestly, that's the thing about these games. They're so nerve-wracking, I think. Like, especially for the players playing them. They, they really have to be respectful of all these high damage cooldowns. Snuts is running PvE trinkets for defense, but every other player basically is running for offense. So uh, it, it does seem like it's not easy for Cloud9 to go to that deep dampening and they find the opportunity. Good kill. And Cloud9, you know, we said that they have a very good shot at taking this grand finals, but they're going to have to change up something. Best of seven, but the boy's looking fantastic. What would you do? <laughs> 
I drama. I, I think Chad Emil leaves yeah, the team because he doesn't. It's like that. It's like that show. What would you do? What would you do? Uh, I don't know. Well, I I don't know. Chad Emil's definitely been contributing to them a lot, but maybe not so much in this tournament. There's been a fair few US nuts that sat on the bench and watched Chad Emil just crush people. But this is a quick opener. Grecky already caught up in a kidney. All right. Well, he didn't actually press any cooldowns. <laughs> I was expecting that to be a lot more devastating, but Gorecki just walks away from it. Chun is trying to go after Cubsy. Both these teams are playing cheeky. Snuts trinkets out of stun to chase down Gorecki, so Snuts is going after that train, the healer. Wealthy Man's trying to control the damage dealers, but controlling the Windwalker with Dressagath, you already lost half your health instantly. Gorecki gets stunned again. Snuts is just killing him. Now finally pulling that life cocoon, but it trades for the Vendetta. I think it's a fair trade, and if this ends up being a healer race, you think Chun would beat Snuts in this race? I don't think Chun is going to want to do that. Instead, switching back to the mage. Grecky's blinded. Chun is low health. Snuts looks like he wants to make his way over. Touch of Death is about to explode. Iron Bark soaks the hit. Not going to take too much damage. Chun gets stunned. Gubsy and Chun are just going at each other in midfield. Grecky, this is a surprising amount of pressure, honestly, that Snuts is dishing out. I feel like Kidney Shot is literally half of his health every single time. Trying to punish that Vitality Conduit. But it's pretty difficult when you got that destruction warlock, right? Like, if you're chasing the healer, it's economics is open. Maybe it's the gamble they have to take. And they gotta switch something up. Uh, so that's actually caught into a leg sweep. Two chaos Ooh, bolts oh! and, and that is it. Goodness gracious. Snuts gets caught into a leg sweep. I'm actually watching it on the stream right now. Unreal, man. I don't, I don't even think that was cooldowns. Look Look at what sets that up as well. chun -Li pre karmas the kidney shot, so all that damage is getting pumped into Snuts. It's basically five people attacking Snuts there. He's getting bullied in this series, man. He tricked it, gets the fist, the fury, and he just dies in a leg sweep instantly. I mean, dang. Ooh. The boys yeah, are here to play, yeah. it's fair to say. Some people were saying, I, I think at the start of the series, I asked Chad, Cloud9 or the boys. I, maybe I'll do a re-poll of that one because I saw like 90% Cloud9. How many of you guys are starting to think the boys can take this one? They're 2-0 up in the series. They need two more games. These guys are unstoppable. This is crazy. Small map, selected by Cloud9, so kind of the opposite of what they went for in game two. Still a little bit terrified for them, though. The boys looking great. All right. <laughs> boys looking unstoppable here. Greki's cooldown management. On top of the strength right now, Destruction, Warlocks, and Windwalkers. Like I said, Windwalker is good, you want Chun on your team. Destro is good, you want Thugonomics on your team. They're both good, they're both on your team. Okay. GG. Well, uh, no uh, one, GG. I mean, one of the things about them playing this comp too is they've just been playing it forever. Exactly. Right? It's not like this is this is some new comp for them. This, they've, some been bottom they've been literally exclusively been playing this for years. Exactly. So. They have all that experience, and then when the composition happens to be super strong, they just, uh, you see what happens, like right now. Uh, decent damage on Snuts early on. He's going to be able to get away from the Drastigath and the Leg Sweep. That wasn't the best attempt there, but, you know, just looking for those burst moments when they can. Fortunately for Cubsy, Snuts, and Wealthy Man, they're able to easily survive it. Yeah, I mean, they're doing a pretty good job right now. That's a nice hand spell on Grecky, though. Cloud9 finding a bit of counter pressure. That's going to be answered by the beautiful green bubble sheep on that coming in from Wealthy Man, shutting down Thugonomics. Now it's the touch of death, though. A little bit scared. Where is that touch of death? I can't quite say it. I assume it's onto Wealthy Man. Hey, I'm back to answer, but we've seen people die through that. DR Fear coming through. So Cubsy is actually taking a little bit of damage as well. Oh, no. Honestly, the push didn't achieve too much. He's currently sitting against a wall, jumping up and down. It looks like he's making a TikTok right now or something as the Touch of Karma is forced out over onto Chun Li. <laughs> Someone called Barry making a TikTok, please. <laughs> Kareki gets stunned. Oh no, big swap. Do they have a follow up stun? They do. Is this it? Are they finally going to take it? Oh, no, he ports out at 1%, but Chun gets swapped too. It looks like he's going to be recovering. Kareki picks him back up. Whole team back to full. Snuts bursted down. Faints at 50%. Wealthy Man still low. Chaos Bolt's coming in. Snuts cloaks it. Another Chaos Bolt. Lobbed on the Wealthy Man. He blocks that. No way he's letting that go through with Dark Soul. Cubs, he gets swapped to. Ooh. Chun explodes him with that dressing oh. as fine. Now Wealthy Man is still very low on health. Everybody on Cloud9 is just dying the whole time. This is a nightmare for Cubsy. Wealthy Man's on hypothermia. He iron barks him. Grecky is blinded right now. And they don't care. They're they're chilling. They're okay. Snuts gets leg swept. There's no iron bark for him. 
He's probably fainting as soon as he can. Faints the Fist of Fury. Still just explodes through faint. Still just explodes. Below 50% stuns Chun. Trying to get something going here. Quite difficult. Again, with that conflict and strive of 50% versatility. Chun's looking A-OK. -okay. The boy's in a solid position. Ooh, Goreki is getting a little bit low, though. He pre-fortifying bruise. That's his grapple weapon. Can they get any damage rolling? Wealthy Man channels a ray of frost, but Goreki should be able to easily survive that one. Dunley with his turbo fist, Fist of Fury, getting some damage rolling. Thugonomics in the open. He's going to be looking for counter pressure. Finds one Chaos Bolt on Snuts. They go for some damage onto Chun Li, but he is not afraid of anything. He rolls in, gets the double leg sweep. Do they have the damage? Where's Cubsy right now? He's sitting down for a drink. I think he recovered a lot of his mana. So that's a, definitely a great start for Cloud9. Cubsy does drink up, but it could be at the cost of Wealthy Man's second Ice Block if they're not careful. Iron Bark and a massive regrowth connect to Wealthy Man, topping him off, keeping Cloud9 nice and stable. Yeah, it was definitely a nice nice read there from Cubsy. He had the healing to heal up Wealthy Man, but more importantly, as you said, he got the drink. So very nicely done. Looks like he might be even going for a second one. He gets caught up in a counter spell right now, though. Thugonomics over is always on point when it comes to those spell locks. It seems like he's in a vortex right now, but it seems like he is doing just fine. Mana slightly favored towards Cloud9 off the back of that reset, but definitely cooldowns not super great for them. They haven't really forced anything from the boys so far. This brick wall composition reminds me of the old school wildcard gaming, or I guess present day wildcard gaming as well, when they are playing those more slow paced compositions. Thugonomics caught up in the Cyclone. That's actually going to hit the Vitality Conduit, but again, not too much damage. The story here is Chun Li on Wealthy Man, da, da, da. almost forcing the second Ice Block. All right, Temp Shield, Iron Bark, going to stabilize. Chun switches back onto Snuts. Snuts switches to Chun. Smoke Bomb drop. Greki rolls in, gets Frost Nova before he can get inside. Portals out of line inside of Polly, waits for the Smoke Bomb, then Life Cocoons. Good awareness from Greki, not falling for that trap. That Wealthy Man was laying for him. Cubsy soaks a kick. Now Wealthy Man can free cast, although how threatening is that actually going to be here? Flurry combo onto Chun. Looking all right. Rolls back. In line of sight of Gorecki. Gorecki doesn't want to get counterspelled right now, so he's going to use that T to immune interrupts. Cubsy jumps in, stuns Chun. Thugonomics stunned as well. Stacked up in that frozen orb. Perfect for some cleave damage, but you know, they're just chilling in that frozen orb. Looks like they're taking a bath in the jacuzzi. Wealthy Man blinking in, trying to find a poly, not able to. Greki line of sights it. Touch of Death is active. Who's that on? Iron Park on Snuts. I would imagine it's on to Snuts. No Vanish available to immune the damage. Touch of Death explodes, but not too devastating. Cubsy interrupted. Chun a bit overextended here. Wealthy Man saying, get away from me. Trying to get Chun to go away, but he's just refusing to. Now on Cubsy. Big Drastic Gap. Big damage. Cubsy doesn't seem to care. Not going to bark skin. Staying calm. Keeping it cool and collected. Mana in a decent position, but still slightly in favor of the boys. Yeah, Chun Li just all over the map right now. He never overextends onto Wealthy Man and Cubsy, which is really important. Gorecki moves in, gets a double Ooh. sweep. Wealthy Ooh. Man almost gets taken down. Honestly, that was insanely greedy by Wealthy Man there, but he manages to hold on to his Ice Walk with a nice temporal shield. But man, that could have easily just been the game, and that would have been 3-0 in favor of the boys. But they managed to hold on. Cyclone now onto Chun, and like I said, for Chun Li, it's really important that he's not overextending during these moments. When he's on Wealthy Man, when Wealthy Man retreats to Cubsy, he needs to make sure he's not pushing in too deep. But it is Thugonomics who's in hot water right now. Bash onto Gorecki. Thugonomics is getting low. Do they have the damage to finally take him down? Gorecki trinkets out and immediately tops him off. Thugonomics with his Dark Soul, looking to get some damage rolling. Cubsy shuts it down with a Cyclone. Nicely done, and a kitty shot on Chun Li. Cloud9 completely defusing that situation. Yeah, that was nicely played by Cloud9. I really like the way that they're playing around diminishing returns. You know, they'll force a cooldown from Thugonomics, instantly sheep him up, go over onto Chun Li. It feels like that's the way they have to play because look, right now, two people connecting. Wealthy Man's almost dead once again. They're having to play this so accurately, and for once, a small mistake from the boys. Potentially, this could be punished. Both trinkets overlap between Gorecki and Thugonomics. That could be an opportunity. So watch this space in the next minute to 90 seconds. If they can find something with the Vendetta, Vendetta was committed there. It looks like over onto Gorecki and they weren't able to get the kill. Just the Fortifying Brew coming out. Life Cocoon still available. Mana in favor of the boys. Dampening starting to ramp up. Cloud9, they are finding openings, but it still seems like the boys have the lead in the match. Wondering if they're banking on the Destruction Warlock and Dampening. 
try and maintain Cubsy's mana and go for that. And right now, just keep Chun at bay. Cubsy spell locked, he can't heal. But Chun's Frost Nova making his way, trying to reconnect onto Wealthy Man. Snuts is switching to Thugonomics, but Touch of Death is up. Cubsy clones Chun Li during his Touch of Death. Beautiful timing on that clone. And Temporal Shield is going to soak the hit. So the, the threat of Touch of Death is no longer there. Infernals aren't up for some time. I think if you were going to go on to Thugonomics, that this would be the best time to start doing it, but maybe not. Chun the target. He's going to use Touch of Karma while Garek is Polly. They're trying to break the Karma. They're just breaking through it to take out Chun. Can they take him down? Can they put a point on the board? Chun ports, but he's still out in the open, and Wealthy Man snipes him with an Ice Lance. Cloud9, play it out and find a kill. What was looking impenetrable, they find the tiniest hole and sneak right through it. Yep, very nicely done by Cloud9. Able to put one point back on the board. Chun Li falls. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I think that's the first time we've seen Chun Li die yeah. first in any game this tournament. So, uh, definitely a tough task taking him down. He said he was running, what was it, 49%, I think you said, versatility. So, I think, very I tanky think on that. I would be honest. I think he's greeted it a little bit, though. That he is running. He's got some gushing now, so Ooh. taking off some <laughs> of that versatility, maybe feeling a little overconfident. I'm not sure, but uh, I mean, for the most part in that game, he was looking very healthy. That's the first time, like you said, we've seen him actually fall in this tournament. So we'll see. Maybe he makes some gear adaptations. Maybe they just overstayed their welcome in the open. Uh, there were so many moments in the game where Wealthy Man barely held on, you know, and just a little bit more damage. It would have been Wealthy Man dying without ice blocking. So as for the boys, I mean, walking away from that match, you can't be feeling too bad. But for Cloud9, they got to be feeling a little bit of a relief that they finally, you know, sort of dented this armor that the boys have put up. Once and like, suddenly just ran on top of me and like killed me in 30 seconds and we weren't on comms. So I was, I was kind of happy about that, but I could feel the disappointment in Ben Ruki. Like, you just he knew. I, I, give, I me just, a, give me a moment. I'm looking up something here. Okay. Just give me one Dude, I, I swear, when you play against Chun Li, you feel bad about yourself. Like yeah, every I, I time. Like just the worst. I, I don't. But maybe. Oh, he's really? Just... <laughs> he's the only player that makes you really feel like you're trash. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to avoid saying it, but, but yeah, I, I do. And then it happens, then I happens to everyone. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, kidney shot starting onto Thugonomics. See if Cloud9 can overcome the great Chun in game four. Alright, let's see. Are they going to be able to find the damage that they need? Can they take down Chun-Li? Is that a repeatable strategy is the question. Can you go after Chun-Li consistently? Can you get that pressure rolling? I'm just going to keep talking indefinitely because right now Super Tease has his flute and he's ready to go. Big leg sweep on Wealthy Man with the Storm Earth and Fire. They actually make a swap over onto Snuts. Are they going to be able to find the damage? And, you know, maybe Chun-Li's playing a little bit scared right now. There's the blind on Goreki. He trinkets out faster than I've ever seen in my entire life. Pops the Thunder Focus T and makes sure those heals are on Chun-Li so he is not afraid at all. That was really, really quick decision making there by Goreki. Yeah, and I, I think you said Super Tease is AFK, so I'm just going to take over from you here, Mr. Elliot. Oh. Yeah, I tried. I tried to get you Mission Impossible, okay? I tried. I can't. I'm not good enough. Uh, the guy's dying. He's dying a lot. Direct, he's in a lot of trouble. Kidney shot, cheap shot. Oh my! He just about gets the Light Cocoon off, but they're shredding through it. And spell onto Cubsy. Very aggressive. Counter aggression. They might actually be able to one shot Wealthy Man off of that. Economics. Uh, Mission Impossible, potentially almost possible, as Greki nearly fell there. All right, Greki survives again here on hook point. Will we be able to continue this? Vendetta available. Snuts waiting in anticipation, I can imagine, to engage the next attack. Actually going after Chun. Economics polymorphed. Greki easily healing through this. No crowd control. Cubsy looks like he's drinking. Very difficult to drink on hook point. He's not going to find it. Chun Li snipes him with that ring of peace into a paralyzed. Snuts rooted up, not able to really support. Chun is very low health at the back of that counter spell, though. Greki trying to recover. Vitality Conduit gets cycloned. Nice timing on the cyclone. Maybe some of that cooldown's defense. Greki going to portal back. Doesn't want to get swapped to. He's very overextended. Let's begin healing Chun Li from the back line. Thugonomic setting up a Chaos Bolt onto Wealthy Man. Not even really denting him with two Chaos Bolts there. Looking stable with Cubsy behind him to pick him up. Ooh, he does manage to do so. Thugonomics, though, in a kidney shot. Looking to get the damage rolling, but there's no crowd control on the Goreki. 
You look at his positioning right now. He's so far away from the fight. Wealthy Man and Cubs, he cannot get that crap control. They're going after Chun Li. And Chun Li's actually taking so much damage. Really not seeing him pressured this much so far. Like Cocoon and Karma. Bit of an overlap there from the team of the boys. And finally, Cloud9 are building some solid momentum. Yeah, that, that's got to be a feels bad man for the boys. Again, like in this meta, it's definitely possible to make more mistakes, but you're, you're going to get punished for it. Like that is a huge mistake overlapping the touch of Karma and the uh, life cocoon when Chun Li's the main target. Let's see if Cloud9 can find a kill off of that. Cubs, he's taking a bit of damage right now. Spark skin had to be used. Cal he's still taking damage as a Chaos Bolt squeaks through, but now Chun Li. Caught up in the kidney shot, trinket on blind from Gurecki. Very scared for him. That's a full polymorph. Pre conduit, the only thing keeping him alive. It looks like he's doing a pretty job. Good job of keeping him alive, actually. Powerful cooldown there. But Chan oh, he's still dying. Oh. He's still dying. He's still dying. Still with the cloud magic nine. active. And he does get punished for the mistake. Where did this cloud nine come from? I honestly, I, when I saw that conduit, I was thinking he's going to be just fine. He went from like 50% health to about 80. And as soon as it expired, they just killed it and instantly. That was crazy. It's, it's nuts using offensive trinkets now, do we think? I didn't actually see. Yeah, look uh, at his damage uh, breakdown. Uh, is he running around out here? Oh, he's really, really fast. Get him. Get him soon. Just look at his breakdown. Yeah, yeah he's, he's switched. Running he's running trust again, man. There we go. There is spine eruption. There we are. Yeah, it seems like they've just focused on a bit more damage, and I think that's smart, right? Screw defense, more damage. Yeah, we like that. We like that here at the desk. Um, this composition looking really good, right? Like the Destro, Windwalker, Mist Weaver Monk is looking absolutely insane right now, and it's finally their meta, and everything's great. But I mean. It, it, it's looking to me like Rogue Mage is still pretty good from what we've seen on the tournament realm. Like a lot of teams are playing Rogue Mage. Uh, I think it's here to stay for quite some time. All right? So, I mean, Snuts. He's... Yeah. Uh, where's Snuts going to start this? He's waiting right next to Gorecki and Thugonomics. Thugonomics is going to get silenced. Initial target. Looks like he's trying to just slow down damage. Chun switches back to Snuts. As Wealthy Man was going to blink out a line of sight and probably crowd control him for a decade. Chun now the target. Frozen Orb is down. No Dress the Gas spine commitment just yet from either side. Really looking for those spikes coming out of the ground. Snuts gets stunned up. Grecky double rolls in. Paralysis, beautiful combo. Snuts cloaks on dangerously low health. Grecky portals out of the fight, trying to avoid crowd control and recover Thugonomics, who did fall behind during that push. Grecky then uses Demonic Gateway to line of sight, but now he's very far away from the smoke bomb. How much damage can they get out here with the Vendetta? Vendetta Smoke Bomb, not even scaring Thugonomics to use on any resolve. Unfortunate here for Snuts. Wealthy Man, though, with some extra damage, does manage to net a Life Cocoon at least. Chun in a bash. Snuts is pulling back a bit. Looks like he may want to switch over to Chun, or just line of sighting the fear with the Z-axis for now. Chun to spell out a poly. Chun coming back over onto Snuts. Directly stabilizes, both teams looking even. Mana advantage slightly for Cubsy, and yeah, maybe just this one gear adaptation from Cloud9, just going for a bit more damage, actually has the boys backed into a corner as they try to figure out what to do. Ooh. All right, chun -Li, he's in a prime position. He doesn't want to overextend anymore, and you really can't blame him. I mean, he's fallen the last two games, so... Definitely wants to make sure his portal of transcendence is in a prime spot in order to survive. He's going to keep Wealthy Man out in the open. That was a nice ring of peace paralysis on Cubsy as well. Do they have the damage to follow it up? Thugonomous looking for a Chaos Bolt. Could easily be the first to Ice Block, but no, Wealthy Man blinks behind the pillar. Yeah, I mean, Wealthy Man has just been doing such a good job defensively as I say that. Scared for Snuts. Doesn't have access to the Cloak of Shadows right now. Faint for Cyan Bark. Barely enough to keep him up. Gorecki's mana is full, so that's fantastic. Two minutes into the game, small map. Aggressive coming in here. Obviously the map choice from the boys. Chun Li taking a little bit of damage at about half health. Curious to see if he's changed up his gear. It feels like he is doing less damage in this game. I'm having a little look. He has spinal eruption, but doesn't seem to have any of those corruption damage modifiers. So I think he is probably going for versatility. He's been shut down a lot in this game though. He's struggling to get work done just all the crowd control from cloud nine once they really start to take control of a game with the cyclones with the polymorphs it's so difficult to play into them this is a good life or sorry a good vitality conduit coming in but Greki still has to drink it out of the blind keeping ergonomics healthy here but again they, they, they're really struggling to find aggression in this game 
good in cap coming in onto Cubsy as they say that they get the trinket, they get the iron bark. Scared for Snuts, who is running that relentless, doesn't seem to have a breaker for Suns right now. All right, good iron bark there from Cubsy. Snuts is a okay. Chun switches targets to Wealthy Man. Wealthy Man Frost Nova's his Fist of Fury and blinks out of range. Good defense there, denying the damage. Greki getting pulled into Inertial's Vortex. Thugonomics protects him, but Chun is overextended. Stunned up by Snuts. Greki manages to get in range to save him, thanks to Thugonomics. Chun popping that Drustic Ass Fine onto two targets. Cubsy trying to heal both of them back to full as readily as possible. Vendetta is rolling. Snuts really wants to get something going during this moment in time while Vendetta is active, but... Vendetta not looking too threatening, honestly. They polymorph Chun instead. Thugonomics is out in midfield. Gets stunned on the Chaos Bolt. Really trying to find that. Cubsy lobbing in some Solar Wraths. Just trying to get whatever extra damage he can onto the team here. To maybe run Gorecki out of mana. But that's a race they are not in the lead right now in. Thugonomics now polymorphed as they switch to Chun. I'm wondering if they're going to try and min-max their polymorph diminishing returns. If Chun's off the R, sheep him three times. If Thugonomics is off the R, sheep him three times. And really drag this fight out. It looks like that's what Wealthy Man is trying to do at the moment. But getting feared. Blinking away from Chun. Chun Tigers lusts into a cone of cold. Wealthy Man and Chun just going toe to toe here downstairs. Looks like Expel Harm. Greki healing him. Going to be more than enough. Now rolling back onto Snuts. Another side really taking too much heat at the moment. Really just waiting for some crowd control commitment from other any side here. Chun rolls over to stop Cubsy from drinking, but he kind of baits him. He moves away in stealth rather than drinking where he was, and now likely starts to drink on the opposite side of the map. No one's in position. Greki, are you going to go for it? Greki rolls out in the midfield. Chun does as well. They know the mana is an important condition, so did they stop him is the question. How much mana did Cubsy get during that opportunity? Still sitting in bear form, not going to find out. In the meantime, Cloud9 getting crowd control. Greki reads it, pre-life cocoons. Chun has touch of death. This is a big, hard-hitting attack, and Cubsy can't heal while he's leg swept. Temporal shield, though, timed perfectly to soak the hit. Cubsy gets swapped to... Really trying to bait as many cooldowns out as possible. Gorecki gets swapped to as well. He gates back to center field. Thugonomics now overextended. Snuts gets grappled. Trying to just kill Thugonomics. Vendetta finally doing some damage here. Smoke bomb line and sighting Gorecki's heels. Thugonomics easily though making it out. Now Cycloned. That's a lot of mana though from Cubsy for that Cyclone. Chun getting controlled. Full poly into poly into clone. So Chun taken out of the fight. Gorecki, is he trying to drink? Doesn't look like it. Cloud9, it seems to me, is try to get a little bit further into dampening, but it's quite difficult at the moment. Cubsy's struggling to find any opportunities to drink. Yeah, we're all tied up 2-2 in this best of seven grand finals. Which one of these two Titan teams will be able to pull out ahead is the question. We are at 6% dampening right now. Cubsy, 50% mana, no trinket. There is some openings here for the team of the boys, but Wealthy Man has been doing such a good job defensively and here it is, a leg sweep. Do they have the Just Cat Trinket? No, it's going to be an Iron Bar. They're just not overstaying their welcome. Cloud9 playing very solid defensively, looking for opportunities where they can find it. Ergonomics is taking some damage. Snuts, though, caught all by himself down low. Wealthy Man's actually going to start attacking Chun Li, pre fortifying Bruise. Can they take him down? Snuts is basically a duel between Chun Li and Snuts right now. Evasion gets popped, fortifying Bru as well. Fear on Cubsy. Snuts could just easily fall. He has a Cloak of Shadows. That was a really, really scary moment there for Snuts, but the greed will pay off and he will be able to survive. That, that was a really nice play from Chun. He tried to roll through Snuts and use the Drastic Ath Trinket through his evasion. It was a risky play, but one that I respect a lot. If he'd landed it, he would have definitely nailed him with the kill. Nice attempt, but the game continues. Snuts able to survive. Ergonomics now in a lot of trouble. This is a full polymorph. Greki does have the Trinket. He's leading onto it. This is the Life Cocoon out of that crowd control. So importantly, he holds onto his Breaker. Snuts actually did kind of waste his blind earlier in this game. He used it Yar over onto Chun Li. So he doesn't have that available for about 40 seconds. I think he might have accidentally mispressed it. I think he was aiming for Greki uh, and to kill Chun Li with the attempt. But they still have all their breaks. Still looking tough for Cloud9. And the boys, they're in a situation where they want to be with uh, Chun Li. You know, yes, he's doing less damage in this game, but he's also got much more versatility. And it seems like that's working out for them as Cloud9 are really starting to struggle with Hannah. Yeah, almost no mana left here. The boys are trying to push to match point. Cloud9 evened it out. 
against a composition that was looking unbeatable. This was from a gear adaptation on mostly Snuts' part, going for more damage on that Dress to Gas Spine. Very important trinket to pick up in PvP right now. If you're playing on Live Realms, I would highly suggest you get your butt into Nihilotha and get your hands onto one of those Spines of Dress to Gas if you are a warrior or a strength agility user. Wealthy Man, very low on health. Cubsy, is he going to innervate here? It's up in a second. I think he wants to wait before spam healing. He wants to make sure it's free, and he does. Innervate active. Cubsy needs to maximize his time with that innervate, but no, they're actually switching. They're just trying to go for the kill. Will Gregio down in the stun. One more left. Barely stays alive. Fortified Elixir. Pulled back into the fight, but it doesn't look like they're going to stay committed to him. Out of line of sight of the counter spell. Picking himself back up. Downstairs. Wealthy Man getting blasted. Two blocks available. Doesn't want to go down without trading one. Having played this out now for eight and a half minutes. They can't afford to make a mistake. Smoke Bomb drop, but Gorecki reads it. Pre Vitality Conduit. Going to allow Thugonomics to safely and comfortably sit through that Smoke Bomb. Grapple Weapon as well. But Smoke Bomb is over and the pressure is still high. Thanks to our good old friend dampening there at the start of our at the top of our screen. If Cubsy can somehow keep his team alive, maybe another minute. I do think Thugonomics could be overwhelmed. Uh, we'll see. Wealthy Man, though, Ooh. could just get one shot. He's getting really low, greeting it really hard. What? Cubsy's just in stealth trying to drink, and Wealthy Man refuses to ice block at 10% health. He just get one shot at any moment in this game. I swear, Wealthy Man has some of the greediest ice blocks I've seen. It's worked out well for him so far, but man, just a little bit more damage and he'd be dead multiple times in the series. Pra paralyzed onto Cubsy. Wealthy Man gets interrupted. Temporal Shield keeps him alive, but the stun on Snuts. Good teamwork there between Gorecki and Thugonomics. Really pressuring Snuts for overextending there. And Cubsy, he is almost completely tapped. We are at 27% dampening. Thugonomics gets life cocoon. Gorecki still just denying Cubsy every step of the way as he charges forward to make sure he is never getting out of combat. Touch of death rolling from Chun Li. There is pressure everywhere as all three members of the boys are pushing forward and making sure Cubsy really has to make you know critical decisions on who he wants to keep alive. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm getting pretty scared here. We're in that zone we like to call Omega Dampening, the technical term. Double Mortal Coil coming through. And I mean, with the coil, yeah, this, that's a nice play. I like that from Snuts. He blinds up Thugonomics. I was going to say the coils came in. It was the Dark Soul. It was the Infernals. Definitely just shut down that guy at all costs. They don't have that available for Drecky now, but it was definitely worthwhile. Thugonomics now caught up in a kidney shot. Definitely the target of choice. It looks like they're going for cross crowd control on Chun and Gore and trying to kill off this Warlock. Are they going to be able to do it though? That's the question. It's definitely looking good right now. He's dropping very low. Vitality Conduit did nothing, no one in range, and the Life Cocoon forced out. But the boys, they need to find damage onto Wealthy Man. He still has another Ice Block, but Cloud9 look like they're starting to run away with this one, Sid. Yeah, no defense left for Thugonomics. Gorecki is out of mana. Cloud9 have dragged this fight on. The classic Cloud9, when it doesn't work, take it down into deep dampening and kill the Warlock. They're at that stage now. Thugonomics needs to make a decision on when he wants to allocate his unending resolve to stay alive. It is the most significant defense they have. He can't use it while he's interrupted for a moment here. Big opportunity. Chun goes after Snuts saying, get off my Warlock. I know he's vulnerable. So Chun is keeping Snuts at bay, rooting him. Vitality Conduit activates, but there was no crowd control committed. Gorecki just has to do that because he's out of mana. Now that unending resolve is going to be critical. They might even swap to Chun. He pre-fort brews this. He should be all right. Double Shadow Fury, Chaos Bolt from Thugonomics trying to power through for the win. Chun is still low on health. Gorecki has no mana. Snuts goes for a silence onto Gorecki. Switches back over to Thugonomics. Gorecki has to basically be worried about three targets right now and has zero mana. Who does he life cocoon? Because if he life cocoons Thug, I think Chun might die. There's the stun on the Thug. Are they just going to life cocoon this based on mana? I think that Cloud9 are hoping that Gorecki does. Gorecki holds out for a little bit longer. They want to commit as much as possible before using that life cocoon. He sees Frozen Orb, Icy Veins. All right, life cocoon, fair trade. Now, Touch of Death available for Chun Li. He needs to get a kill with that. I honestly think this Touch of Death and in Infernals could be the last one we see of the game. Snuts gets bursted down. Even without the Touch of Death, Snuts is in trouble. Comes he is now there out There it is! This could be a trap kill. Infernals have landed. Who's going to fall first? Touch of Death about to explode. Snuts drops Smoke Bomb to try and hide from Thugonomics' push, but Fists of Fury are flying. Snuts retreats Thugonomics, dogpiling on top of the entire team to close <laughs> this one out. He knows this is it. Do or die with the Dark Soul. Thugonomics Polymorph the way. Are they not going to kill them? Are they actually not going to kill them? Gorecki rolls in. Gorecki wants to finish them. Wealthy Man gets punched by an Inferno. Gets Ice Barrier at 10%. Everything he can. Snuts his feared into a Chaos Bolt. And gets closed out. Right at the last 
chance to get a kill. The boys finish it off, taking us to match point. I, I gotta say, Thugonomics, it looked like he was having quite a lot of fun for the last 30 seconds of that game. He was just jumping towards them, knowing that inevitably something was going to hit someone and they were going to win that match. It's 3-2 in the grand finals. Match point in favor of the boys. This has been a back and forth series, but the boys once again have momentum. They are one game away from being our champions for the second time in a row during these Method Mayhem tournaments. Cloud9, they put on such a good game there, but it does seem like it came back to the gear swap ups from Chan Lee Venruki. He just went more versatility. He doesn't have those corruption damage points anymore. So he was bottom of damage in the game, but he stayed alive and that's all they needed. The sand, make sure there's nothing going on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All we want, if someone's going to die on this map, we want to make sure it's from the abilities of the players. There's no slipping around on moist ground or anything like that, but there may well be deaths there may well be a victor here in fact there certainly will be but the question is if it's going to be the victor of the tournament determined here or if we're going to a game seven now i want to check if there's any cat surprises in tolver on sandbox cubsy cubsy chose this map <laughs> <laughs> oh it's been a long time dear. here at the goodness map. Have. <laughs> goodness me we're in the finals and right now the boys are one game away from claiming their second tournament in a row. Are they going to be able to do it, or will Cloud9 defiantly fight back in this match? Looks like Wealthy Man and Cubsy, they're going to be positioning very far away. They try to make a swap right now onto Snuts. There's one Chaos Bolt. Chunley actually ports away, and he's left his Transcendent in the midfield, okay? Pay attention to that. We'll have to see if he relays it somewhere else. If he doesn't, might actually be an opportunity to take down Chun-Li without him having an effective transcendence. All right. Early stages of, of the game is going to be mana management. So Cubsy right now is behind, but Tolveron should be the best map for him to drink on. I'm wondering if Chun is going to hold on to a Drestigast Spine or a Touch of Death. And then when Cubsy goes to drink, just pop one of those and try and get a kill while he's drinking. Right now, Cubsy is actually drinking. Then he's going to need to maintain a lot of mana as this is likely to require quite an extended game to close it out. It's not to stunned up. First it down. Cubsy comes back into the fight. Iron barks him. Chun sees that. Switches off of it. Doesn't want to attack into any sort of damage reduction. Wealthy Man blinks away from Chun. Chun rolls back to reconnect. Thugonomics is now open out of the stuns. Baiting the interrupts with fear. Looking for a Chaos Bolt. Trying to generate some more soul shards. Cloned by Cubsy while the interrupts aren't up. That's annoying as Thugonomics. Stunned into kick and the clone. Really shutting that Warlock off right now. Cloud9 need to be on their toes. They're on match point. They'll be out of the tournament if they don't find a win here. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a tough situation to be in. This is a nice smoke bomb, though. Snuts looking to be the playmaker on the person that's actually playing the class he's known for the most. It, it's, it's still so strange to me, you know, Snuts playing every class under the sun, but not the Warlock for this team. Channel choosing that one, and he has to be very careful of the Warlock on the enemy team as a Chaos Force so whacks him in the face, almost taking him down. He retreats behind the pillar. Iron Bark from Cubsy, keeping him in the fight. Now we see the life cocoons there. Actually going to swap over to Greki. He was just behind the pillar, conveniently in position for them to deal some damage to him. But uh, beyond the icy veins from Wealthy Man that are currently active, looks like they are going to be setting back just a little bit right now. Infernals are something you definitely have to respect from Thugonomics. Yeah, no question about it. Thugonomics in the midfield right now. Can you find the damage? And I mean, so far, I will say Cloud9 has been a doing a good job. You know, kind of shutting down Thugonomics. They definitely have been respecting the Infernals and the Dark Soul. You kind of have to. I mean, if you're going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the boys and Thugonomics, you have to make sure you are avoiding that damage when he does have it available because it's just so overwhelming. Leg sweep now on. Oh. Snots. Can they take him down? It's oh, big burn. He barely survives with a faint and his iron bark. But man, oh man, living at 5% health once again. Thugonomics and Chun-Li looking for that damage, and they managed to find it, but um, unfortunately for them, Nuts does manage to hold on. Vanish was used before Touch of Death. Vanish can immune it, and Chun sees that. There's no Iron Bark, there's no Vanish. I'm pressing Touch of Death. He rolls through the evasion, stuns Nuts from behind, gets a big combo of damage, but Cloak of Shadows is going to prevent Thugonomics from finishing him off with a Chaos Bolt, but Thugonomics doesn't care. He's like, oh, there's a mage over here. Chaos Bolt casted. Wealthy Man takes it. Cubsy has to heal that. He's got no mana. Greki's in a poly. Thug gates into midfield and says, here, you want to chase me and kill me? You're coming out into my home turf. 
Middle of the map. Chaos Bolts are going to be lethal out here. Gurekki Trinkets out of blind. Cubsy is crowd controlled. Cubsy needs to drink. The Fell Hunter is chasing him from Thugonomics. I'm wondering how Cubsy looks to deal with this, if he's maybe entangling Root it. Innervate's rolling, so he wants to heal for free during this, but being this low on mana, still a minute away from dampening, is dangerous for Cloud9. Yeah, this is looking really scary. Ooh. That is a dangerous situation, and that is a champion crown. The boys take the series. 4-2, Snuts Fools. What a setup once again, and these guys are absolutely crazy this year. They won the last tournament. They win this tournament. Toll Veron Arena, clean setup, clean kill. And the boys win for the second time in a row, the Method Mayhem tournament. What wow. I say. I mean, yeah, they, that was I don't great. Think they lost in either tournament. They didn't lose a series in either tournament, right? Yeah, I believe so. I think they went upper bracket last tournament as well. I mean, the God, these guys are so scary to play against. I'm not gonna say it. What are you gonna say? <laughs> say it. That's fine. I want to hear it. I just like hammer down on the word moist, but no, that's fine. No, uh, Chat will do it for me. Chat will uh, do it for me. I think we yeah. have an obligation to talk about the games. Yeah. Uh, one of one of the things I, I want to call out, which I think is so cool that Chun does specifically. We saw him almost do it on Dalaran. It's where he like does when the rogue is evasion, he'll roll through the rogue, cancel his roll instantly. So he just gets that one second, and he'll go for that extra ability. You called it in this game, Sid, that he did it once, and uh, he did it on Dalaran almost to kill Snuts. It's just these little things are what make these players so good, and it's such a joy to watch them. Obviously, congratulations to the boys. Congratulations to all our competitors. We've had a really fun weekend here. We'll get a quick look at the bracket just to kind of confirm all of that to you guys. We've been watching for a while today. It's been a long broadcast, right? We've been... I think live for seven, eight hours, something like that. It's been a lot of great and wow arena today. Uh, the boys, the victors in the end, but we've seen, you know, Unitas with a great tournament, Method Orange with a great tournament, uh, Jamili's team, Sofa King Sick, once again, strong contenders here today. And looking at the finals, which are two weeks away, $8,000 on the line for those. Uh, it's looking pretty good for some of these rosters. I can't wait to see how the teams continue to evolve on TRVM. I mean, me too. Uh, I'm most excited for the immediate future, which is going to be the European tournament. So if there's any European players that haven't signed up, you better go do it because I think signups are going to be closing within a few days. So definitely really, really important. Um, but yeah, I'm curious to see if the European teams are going to be kind of mirroring the, mirroring the same meta that uh, North America has sort of come up with, or if they're going to be making their own discoveries and you know figuring out their own corruptions that are really, really strong. Um, and yeah, next weekend should be a blast. Yeah, really looking forward to that. And Sid, I mean, we've seen the Cloud9 versus Boys kind of blockbuster go back and forth here today and over the weekend. Over in Europe, it's been all about Method Black and Wildcard Gaming, right? What a series they had mm -hmm. last week. And I mean, it could be the same. Uh, I don't know. Do you think Wildcard Gaming try to get Destruction Warlock going? They, they really know. can't anymore now that they substituted Walrix out. That was a long time ago. Well, they substituted Walrix out for Morrow, so they can't really do that. Actually, I think, even, I think they're can stuck I, with it. Can I say this really quick? I, I still believe that playing the Warrior Fire Mage Mistweaver or... Is it an answer? I think it's a great answer, honestly. But I think you have to be really, really, really good at it. And they're obviously by far and away the best. I mean, there's no Warrior that really... That's just Blizzard right now, in my opinion. I mean, Morrow is an absolute monster on Mage as well. So that 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 team, if there's any team that's going to have a composition that beats, you know, these Destro Warlocks, I think it would be them. All right. Well, in in the spirit of being cringy at the end of a Sunday, we discussed it earlier. Then, do you want to try the high five? Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Need to, Three, I'm watching on stream two, to make sure this is good. One. Was it good? Wait, 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 wait. Do it again, do it again, do it again. Wait, 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 wait. Do it again, do it again, do it again. Do it again. Ready? Three, two. Go right on the edge. Ready, ready, ready for three, two, three. Oh, I can see it on Skype. Oh, my God. Look, look, yeah, look, 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 look. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Did we do it? We're so far away, but we're still friends. Yay. Yay. All right. Excellent stuff. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys, for watching the Method Mayhem tournament. Join us next week for the European tournament. We're going to have fantastic games, and then we will have the finals for both regions. Obviously, we want to make sure you guys are staying cozy on the 24-hour, seven days a week Method stream. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the games as much as we did, and we'll see you next time.